Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP. So, in this part, Penelope will be heading off to boarding school in just a couple of hours, and Joseph actually goes to work in one hour, so I'm going to have him come say his goodbyes now. Um, he's going to go ahead and give her a salute. He's going to shock bra her and... Um, I guess just say goodbye to her, encourage her to improve her skills, and just uh, basically say goodbye to Penelope because she's leaving for her whole childhood, which does sound really sad, but it's okay. So, Joseph, go say goodbye. Stop eating cake, Penelope, and say goodbye to your dad because he has to leave like any minute now. Okay, she needs to go. She's fucking crazy. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, he didn't even get to tell her to improve her skills. He's gonna go though. Um, Luna is over here hanging out with us. Nuggles reading a book. Uh, okay. Justine is gonna go ahead and uh, clean up her plate. And then she's gonna come over here and uh, hug her and encourage her to improve her skills and what else i'm going to uh we will go ahead and also give her a shaka bra Let's see have everybody just give her a good goodbye nope luna Oh, Luna sees the restroom. I guess you can use the restroom, but you are coming to say goodbye to your sister. Um, alrighty, where's Penelope right now? Going to discover a potion. We won't shock a brow. We're gonna have Luna go upstairs and um, go ahead and shock a bra her. Make a silly face with her. And go ahead and do a little bit of a mm, a pillow fight. Just a quick pillow fight. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. They're gonna go pillow fight now. Which this came with generations, by the way. So, you know. Also showing off an interaction here. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, so. It is time for Luna to go to school. It says whatever the summer festival is here. Who cares? And this one leaves in one hour, I think, at 9 a.m. So, um, yeah, she's leaving pretty soon. What is up with the clothes ending up in this hallway? Was that from their pillow fight? I don't even know. Weird. Really, really weird. Um, okay. But, um, alrighty kind of sad to see her go but at the same time I know she's gonna come back so much more educated and just a better little person and you know we do have to test out the interaction so cool really really cool Buster she's about to leave and Buster's just coming over here to bark at her that's my type of animal right there you guys Aww. Alrighty, he's going, she's going to go ahead and uh, have fun really quick. Or actually feed him a treat. Oh, never mind. It's time for her to go. Goodbye, everyone. I'm off to Lafrange Art School. Don't forget to call me while I'm gone. I'm still your kid, even though I'm far away. Okay, so she's off to boarding school. Oh. So, yeah. This is pretty much how they go to boarding school. They walk out of the house saying, bye, bitches. 
or bye booches, you know, try not to cuss. Um, and they get into a taxi and the taxi is going to take her to the end of the world and then return her when she is a teenager. Unless we want to, um, it will return her if we unenroll her, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do the full thing. But, um, she'll come back when she's a teenager and we could, um, enroll her again or we can, uh, keep her at home, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Probably just gonna have her, uh, stay at home with us because it's so hard. Run over the paper boy. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. But, um, Penelope is off to art school, the cheese school. La Fronge? Is that how you say it? La Fronge? I, I don't know. But, um, Yeah. I just want to watch her disappear. And then she will go gray. We are on a dirt road right now. Holy crap. It's like literally taking her out in like the middle of nowhere. Like what even? I'd be so scared. And then she's gone. Just like that. I don't know where we are right now. Kind of scary. Um. Okay. So yeah, she's off in boarding school. This one's over here. She actually needs to meet some new friends because uh, she wants to get a prom date. A lot of you guys were actually telling me to get the, the potion for the imaginary friend and have that be our prom date. And we might just have to try that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and actually uh, services adopt pet from adoption. And we're going to try to find Buster, a little wifey, and try to make some puppies. Um, since, you know, this is generations, we might as well have some puppy generations, right? Why not? So go ahead and get a little... Oh, no, not place a dot. No, no, no. No. <laughs> um, we're going to head to the adoption place. Uh, really fast and uh, nobody's home are they of course not of course you're not home nobody lives here that makes oh my gosh not even gonna question it we're gonna adopt one from the shelter <laughs> not even last time we were there there was a click of horses and now nobody lives there no Right, we need dogs. Alrighty, so these are the ones we got. We need a little female. Alright, they're all female except this one right here. This one is ratchet. I'm sorry, but ew. Scary looking. It looks like a gremlin. Lady looks kind of big. And she's an elder. Um, Maya is a mutt and she's a small dog. And here's Tiffany. She's a puppy and she's a small dog. They're like Maya or Tiffany. Tiffany has the shy, adventurous, and quiet trait. And Maya is very aggressive. So we're going to go ahead and get Maya. And, um, I mean Tiffy. Tiffany. Tiffany. And we're going to name her Tiff. Tiff and Buster. So Tiff is going to come on over. And, um, I think we're going to go ahead, for now, turn Penelope's room into the dog room. Uh, because they're going to have puppies, and it's going to be really cute and adorable. So, once, um, Tiffany ages up, which I might age her up, like, sooner if I can do that with dogs. No idea. But we're going to go ahead and buy a little critter bed. Two of them, actually. And, uh, put a ball up here. And that, and a dog house back here. We'll put it actually over here. Put it right, right under this tree. As close as possible. Oh, I'm moving the tree, oops. Just like that, that will work. Okay, now Buster has a little, a little house. Joseph's natural problem-solving skills and athletic accomplishments have gotten him a rec recommended to the police chief for a career in crime fighting. The chief has offered him the lieutenant job, job level 5, and, um, should he leave 
his flight officer job level five. Um, we're gonna go ahead and keep her job. I like his job. You know, I think it's cute. So we are gonna go ahead and wait for Tiff to get here and we're gonna go get the mail. And Luna's at school right now. Uh, has she met anybody? She has met Kwana Rubin and Raymond Harley. So we're also going to have a sleepover uh, with Luna. So she needs to go ahead and gain some friends or something because, you know, we're going to do it. We're going to do it, you guys. We're going to do it. Um, Pansy, stop sending us letters before I go to your house. Snap your neck, okay? Thank you. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go ahead and skip until... Tiff and Luna get home from school, I think, and then I'll get back to you guys. I keep drinking the soy milk. It's chocolate soy milk. I'm not allergic to milk, but soy milk is just, like, so freaking good. <laughs> Alright, I'll get back to you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so Luna just got out of school. Let's see all the munchkins, or not really munchkins, but all, like, the little brats that come along with her. Um, so we can kind of maybe scoop. Uh, somebody out. He looks actually really cute. You know, for Luna, let's see. He looks like really nervous or scared or his name's Dedrick Hudson. He, he doesn't look too bad though. Just fix the eyebrows, bro. Fix the eyebrows. What is up? He He's not bad looking though. Let's uh, stalk, stalk him really quick and, and figure out where he lives. Um, That's the way to do it. Let's see. Follow that cab. Keep going, keep going. Let's see. He's coming over here. Oh, these are nice. They have pools. I like, I like. Right. He lives right here. Ooh, not bad. Um, he has a pool, so that's a, a plus. Um, Joseph's one year anniversary at the military base. Cool, they threw him a party. Um, oh, and we all just got Tiff. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we need to go meet you. So we're gonna go, <laughs> go all the way across town. All the way across town. He just has a hint. There's about to be a beautiful girl who wants to meet him. So he's just gonna stay right here. She's, she smells like ass, but she doesn't care. She does not care. She's going. Um, so let's go see Tiff. Oh. Tiff. I asked for... Why? What? That is so weird. They said Tiff was going to be that, like, breed of dog, and we got this. What even? But I think we can buy a birthday cake and age her up. I have no idea. I usually... I've never, like, aged up my dog before it was their time. So. I don't know. No. We can't. Um, oops, shoot. I really thought maybe I can, um, what am I doing? Maybe I can test him. Do this on her. Uh, let's see. Eight, yeah, trigger age transition. There we go. It's Tiff's birthday. Yay. <laughs> Would have never guessed. Alrighty, so Tiff is now a... A full-on adult. We're gonna go bark at her, nuzzle her, sniff her, socialize, play, and goof around. We finna get some puppies. Did you not go meet him? Oh, she did. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead and... And send them a little text message, a little friendly text message. That's, you know, that's what the kids would do, right? Hey, I know I, like, stalked you across town, but I think you're really cute. I want the D. That's today's generation. That's exactly how it would go. Look, she's so happy. She's like, I just met a really cute boy. <laughs> she's so happy. Okay. Drop the homework for a second. Drop the damn homework. Wow, this place is bopping. She's going to send him a little text, and hopefully he likes that. We're going to go ahead and send him a love letter, a letter, a love letter, and be really creepy. People are probably like, are you even legal to be in here? 
well, it's a karaoke bar, so I guess she could be. But we're going to go ahead and um, send him a love letter cross-eyed. And it's going to be that long, too. That long. Oh, she looks so cute, though. A lot of you guys said she looks like PewDiePie's um, girlfriend. And I was like, you guys are so right with her winged eyeliner. I, I know her name, but I always pronounce it wrong. Um, I don't want to. Uh, uh, she's so cute, though. Alrighty, we sent him a love letter. And let's be even more creepy. And we are going to go ahead and call him now. This boy's probably really creeped out. But we don't care. <laughs> we just want to get to know you, that's all. We're not creepy or anything. Alrighty, let's head back on over to the house and see how Tiff and Buster are doing. They're uh, playing around a little bit right now. Good. Um, I'm going to have Justine. Um, I forget how to do this too, which is terrible of me, but... Um, I'm pretty sure you have to have the adults have them. Um, ask them to try if I'm right. I could be wrong. Um, maybe they don't know each other well enough quite yet. Um, so we're probably going to try that in the next part to try for puppies. But I will definitely be doing a pets LP in the future for you guys. Um, for those wondering. I will be doing one. And maybe they have to be best friends with the owner. We can maybe have him try. No, I think we have to wait. Um, so cheap drinks. Happy hour has begun. Alrighty, Luna. Why don't you order yourself a drink? Oh god. <gasps> oh! Oh no! No, can we not? Why is her mouth so big? What is what is going on? She's like, what did I get myself into? That's like the smile you do when you're like faking a smile. <laughs> I wouldn't be too happy to sing with that either. She looks like an old broad who like drinks wine every day until like she passes out. And she like collects people's hair. I don't even know what to say about her right now. She just looks really scary. And she has a choker necklace on. She's kinky, I can tell. They're pretty interesting. Alrighty, Luna's gonna come over here and... Oh, right. It doesn't have a professional bar. What am I talking about? Just kidding. Wow. Joke's on me. I need to place one in here, but joke's on me. Alrighty, Luna, go ahead and head home and we need to do our homework and then maybe send another creepy love letter. She's gonna, like, stalk this kid. She's gonna be like, Taylor Swift. Went there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and head home. She's kind of hungry, so maybe Justine should be a mom or something and maybe cook some food for her kids. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. Uh, probably won't happen, though. Just kidding. We'll, we'll make it happen, I guess. Special occasion. Penelope left. Um, we will make some... Whatever that is. What are these two out here doing? Oh, they're not doing anything. Disappointments. What are you doing, Buster? Why don't you Let's see? I don't think I can have them try yet. Can't wait till I can though. Hmm. We'll have to figure that one out. I know it's it's simple. I think the dogs have to be close, so. Oh, she's gonna make some type of fish. Ooh, special. Luna, you're not having birthday cake. In fact, put it away. No, don't even put away his leftovers. I was going to clean it up, but I guess we can't do that. But enough with the freaking cake. Let's have a decent meal for once. Like, please. Justine. Justine, where did the food go? What the hell? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Um, No, Luna. Luna, your mom is making a nice dinner. Stop trying to eat cake. No, I'm not. I'm not allowing it. I'm not. Your mom's cooking a good meal. You go clean that up. 
In fact, do the dishes. How about that? Offer to make real. The imaginary friend metamorphum potion must be in your Sims inventory. All right, until dinner is done, why don't you go shower up? And tomorrow, she will begin. Hopefully, she can do it. Hopefully, we can get it done by Wednesday night. What? In the middle of cooking a meal? Come on now. Please don't become a fire. Please don't become a fire. Please don't become a fire. Cool. Justine's an adult, everybody. She looks exactly the same. But she doesn't look too happy. Justine, continue to cook. It's burnt now. Thanks a lot. Birthday. <laughs> I don't know. Um, she's having a midlife crisis. This actually came with generations. A midlife crisis? No, hon. This can't be why it seemed like just last night that Justine was still getting a student discount at the movies on her looks alone. If you fight to recapture your youth, you can still cling it, right? She has completed zero midlife crisis wishes. Um, you can go to the hospital. Like, this is um, a disease, by the way. Like, it is a disease, you know. Uh, you can go to the hospital and actually get it cured. I'll, I'll just show that to you guys once I... Uh, Find the hospital. Here it is. Oh, I guess, I guess you can't. I forget how to do it. Maybe get therapy. I don't know. Huh, let me check lessons. I know there is a way that you can cure it. Um, I just, once again, I, I never really let them do anything. I just make them suffer. Um, boop, 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 boop. There is no penalty for avoiding the midlife Christ wishes if you choose not to promise them to your sims. Alternatively, if the pressure of going over the hill gets too much, you may send your sim to the local hospital to get therapy and end their crisis early. So if I paid 2,000 simoleons, we could have this one go, you know, end her little crisis. But because this is the LP, I'm going to make her suffer. And she's going to want, like, a Ferrari. And she's going to want to woohoo with different people. And she's, she's going to want to break up with Joseph and maybe kill her kids or something. But we'll see what we will do. Um, alrighty, guys. I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next part. And, um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh, that's what I want to say. Okay. Coming up probably uh, next week or possibly this weekend, um, there might be some good changes to my channel. Hopefully, I can get some stuff up uh, soon. But, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm really excited. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget, the giveaway ends this Friday. So, no, this Saturday. This Saturday? Yeah, this Saturday, last day of the month, the 31st. So check it out. Bye, guys.